You like rum, because you went to the Caribbean. Asterisk, <laughs> I like rum in rum cocktails. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had like sipping rum? No. I haven't either. <laughs> First time ever for either of us. Yes, that's why we're um, called Beyond Bourbon. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're trying to venture out. I think exactly. we both love trying new things. Uh, so we have two here that were given to us by my father to sample and to review. So we have <laughs> <laughs> Diplomatico Ex Reserva Exclusiva, which also sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a little better. It's something Exposition Panama Pacific. <laughs> but So we have this one is aged up to 12 years, which we talked about this. I hate that in all spirits if you say aged up to, because like, just tell me the age. Don't, don't tell me. Yes up to, like if you put one drop of 12 year old in there, that's just like the 73 Legends thing. They blended it with five and 50 year old bourbon. So, and they're like, I know for a fact, you put maybe like this much 50 year old bourbon yeah. in a whole barrel. Yeah, like, that, that, oh yeah, so this one is not as, oh, I said this is up to 12 years. This one is 23 years old. So this is older than both of us. Mm -hmm. um, and it is interestingly aged in bourbon barrels for three years and then used Tennessee and Canadian rye whiskey cask for 20 more Which years. Which were toasted, not charred, yeah. for some like, reason. Who, was, who mad scientists like just smoking <laughs> crack and was just like, you know what? Let's take that out of those barrels. It's three years is good. Let's throw it in some, uh, I don't know, Tennessee or maybe Canadian. Like, how, how do you have a slash? Both. <laughs> yeah. It's one or the other. Probably, no. Um, well, yes, you could age one in Tennessee, one in Canadian, and then blend them. Or... You could get why the, though? It's, the, you're uh, doing way too many things. steps. Yeah, it's rum. Okay, that like really came out of the bottle of my nose. Like you can smell that setting down from there. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> that smells like a hospital. That is 80 proof, and that smells just like al like rubbing alcohol. It smells like a freaking hospital. I just <sighs> severed my arm, please. <laughs> it's getting better. Okay, but then <coughs> nope. <laughs> I get some bananas. Oh, that's a good dough. That's I like that. You gotta start getting real things to think about, none of the alcohol yeah. that's in it. See, rum is an interesting spirit because you would think distilling sugarcane would give it an abundance of sweetness mm -hmm. and flavor, um, but it, it, it doesn't as much as you think. It doesn't. Like it like, has a weird sugary sweetness to it. It has a weird like weirdness to it, but it doesn't have a lot of depth of flavor. As when you have a, a whiskey that's different grains mm -hmm. that all bring different flavors. I think whiskey sweeter. Than rum, which definitely is, some of them do. Which is yeah, yeah. To me, so yeah, we'll, this is their. We'll walk through their tasting on their website. The color was amber. Good color. I don't, color, yeah. I could care less about usually. I, I would um, mistake this, mistake this for bourbon. Yeah, it definitely looks darker than just amber. I feel like I don't know. It's yeah. I wouldn't go amber with that. I would. I don't know. I'm not a color nose color guy. Toffee, I don't really get. Orange peel, I do get. Orange peel. Licorice is what licorice. is also in there. Ooh, that's, that's great. Like, those are, this is the first website I'm like, I can see your nose easily. Mm -hmm. Orange peel and licorice is a great nose for this. Not what I expected. Wow, I like that. Huh, coffee. Like, yep. real coffee. Java, like, mm-hmm. Like, it tastes like coffee it, beans. It tastes like, like I'm in the Caribbean, and I'm getting coffee, and I'm having a banana for breakfast with a little, really with a little good. like a blueberry muffin. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's breakfast. Man. That is phenomenal. That beats some bourbons I've had. Oh, for 1, sure. thousand percent. Complex and well-balanced with oak and vanilla for a long lasting finish. I was complimenting them on their nose, on uh, the notes, and that's just terrible. That's just the most general thing yeah, ever. Yeah, that's bad. And the Not pretty vanilla. Either. Not a long finish, and the mouthfeel is, is just water. I don't really get yeah. a mouthfeel at all. Oak is definitely there. Oak is for sure, but I mean... <sighs> the nose is just so good. It smells either. like the Caribbean. I, I can't even get over it. It's like a Caribbean breakfast. I don't like the notes. Like that makes me want not want to drink it. No, if you really just focus it on a banana, you can kind of get past it. I like that though. I am. I lo I do like rum. I would recommend that to someone. I like rum a lot. Like I was in the Caribbean recently on on the honeymoon. I had rum punch. It's all I had. One of my favorite cocktails of all time. I try to recreate it. It's not as good when I recreate it. It wasn't bad when you made it for us though. So this is definitely lighter though. Like that is way darker on the right than it is on the left. I got a whiff of it. <laughs> Not good. It's just like I splashed around and it's got a little little note just kinda of shot. Hmm. Maybe it was that one. Maybe it was that one I got. I that know. was light. Mm -hmm. Like very, very light. For twenty three years and that's all you've got. That one has more oak. What the, is the proof's the same? No, this is higher. <laughs> eighty four proof. Eighty four point six proof to be exact. That wow. is very interesting on the nose. I uh, did not expect that. 
Not a fan of the nose compared to this one. No, th this nose is better. This is more of a bourbon. I don't like the nose in this, this one, but this is... has more of a bourbon-esque nose to it in a sense. Like, I can see the similar similarities. So, my favorite thing about rum, you know, since we are the experts we are, hmm. is the price. This is a 23-year-old rum, and it's like $80. So, that, I mean, is insane to think what, about. What does that show you? Does that show you that making rum is cheaper or that we're getting price gouge in the bourbon market? Both. Like, we're definitely getting price gouge in the bourbon market. I saw something the other day. Um, actually, me and my mom were talking about this. She was like, what's the difference between this 13-year-old bourbon and that one? And I was like, it's all marketing. Mm -hmm. Like, pretty much. Like, definitely, like, distillation matters somewhat. But, like, if they're coming from MGP, it's the same thing. Like, it's literally it's just marketing. marketing. It's all marketing. It's all market control. Mm -hmm. um, allocation. Mm -hmm. I mean, we live in Kentucky. 30 minutes away from major distilleries. For sure. Major, major. And it's really hard to find some bottles and we can pay up for it. Yeah. We, There's yeah, I mean, Caribbean made <laughs> rums that I've purchased that I see in Total Wine that are literally distilled in some tiny island yeah. in the Caribbean and cost fractions of the price. Yeah. I don't, that doesn't, 23 even, years. doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the amount of time, I don't know how you come to the price that this is $80 when you work, when you think about it took 23 years for this to like become a product. People that make like this still this don't even work there anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they retired. You know, I should like Eddie or Jim Russell. That's like, your Eddie yeah. or Jim, exactly. Yeah. Like, no one works somewhere for 25 years anymore. Like, exactly. I mean, like you're pulling pension now. You're just like, <laughs> oh, remember that that thing I distilled that one time? Like it's coming you're, out. <laughs> you're not getting your profit from this for a long yeah. time. Yeah. So, hmm, that's weird. Hmm, I don't like that. I like it. Hmm. Not I as get much the, as this one. I get the rye. Yeah. I get that there's a, the, I don't even know what note it is. I can't give it a flavor, but there's a rye note. I get that dark chocolate. Yeah, that is very chocolate for mm -hmm. It definitely doesn't taste like rum as much, but it does taste like alcohol. I get Yeah. a little, yeah. on the very beginning of the palate, it's just kind of like ethanol, vodka, vodka like, yeah. very, yeah, potato vodka yeah. type. It reminds me a lot. I remember on, went to spring break, I got those shooters. Yeah. The vodka flavored mm -hmm. shooters. It tastes like it tastes like a vodka flavored shooter. Like a caramel vodka shooter or the chocolate. The one. chocolate yeah, and the whatever. coffee one or all of them yeah. all mixed them together. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't. Well, I expected more from this than I did this, and this gave me more. This gave me more. I definitely am still a bourbon guy. Yeah. I'm not gonna go sip rum all the time. But if you like either of these, what would you recommend? What bourbon would you recommend to people? If you are a bourbon drinker, I would recommend this one over this one 1,000%. Yeah, if you're a bourbon drinker, go with this one. You get the classic oak. If you're yeah. a rye fan. Maybe that one, yeah. Maybe a scotch fan. I get kind of the, it, the ultra it's aging. It's more proof and it's just not. Yeah, th that one's just not my, that's my favorite. Um, I don't know, something with a lot of oak. Probably like to drink toasted maybe. This one, I like this one a lot. This reminds me of rum I've had before. Double oaked. What's for double oaked? We don't have a bottle of that. That's what that one tastes like to me though. Sweetness. And yeah, like that. it's got more fruits to me though. Okay, yeah, that's I'm fair. thinking, I haven't had, I don't really have a bottle of this, um, but it would be like $17.92. There's not really a great comparison. Maybe some Jack Daniels. Maybe a Jack, because it's very flavorful. That very flavorful. Yeah. It's uh, in that range of just Jack, like, single barrel, but not the barrel proof one, just the single barrel that's like 90 proof or something. Yeah, I think like that's kind of similar. That's a really banana y too. But exactly. Like bananas. A banana on that. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Anything from there or Brown Foreman. Brown Foreman. Those two banana, banana, yeah. banana the flavors. But I don't know. Very interesting. Interesting. I, I'm I, glad we tried these though. Better than I expected. Yeah, I've had for some, sure. Some, this some, one some, blew me out of the water. Some rum neat and it's just not not it. You have to really age it in, in bourbon or rum or, mm -hmm. I mean bourbon or whiskey or some other thing for a pretty long time to really kind of get me to sip it. Yeah. Because usually I think of rum, I think of cocktail. Yeah, for sure. I mean, as most people do. Like, um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like Captain Morgan's or whatever I feel like as most people think of now. Mm, um, Malibu. Yeah. Um, That's so interesting. So let us know what you guys think about if you've had rums, if you have any that you would recommend to, to bourbon yeah, drinkers. There's a let huge world there out there. We haven't let even us know what we need to get into next, too. Into yeah, it, yeah, if there's another spirit as well, if you want us to try out. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what else. Tequila. I would do tequila. It'd be a tough one, but we'll get through it. That's going to be rough. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to see, we'll put it out there. We'll though. do a vodka blind. It's just no, like all straight vodka. Yeah, so let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you next week.